Hello Composers, Mike here. Do you use the Logic Pro X instrument library? Well, I have a special hidden feature which I will show you in this video that solved a huge problem I have had for years in Logic and I'm sure you have been frustrated about this too. Let me show you right now. I will also give you a bonus tip in the end of this video. So let me define the problem first. If you have ever used the stock instruments here inside the Logic library, you will definitely have been super frustrated and annoyed at this many times because I know I have. Well, the thing is this, when you add an instrument patch here from the library, it will load everything on that channel strip, which could be MIDI effects, audio insert effects, even bus uh, effects, uh, such as reverbs, etc. So let's say I want to add this Studio Horn 7-piece Mississippi Joint preset here on this track. Let's load it up and look what happens. Oh, I have, I have this now, but what the heck, I don't want all these insert effects, two, sort of two EQs, a direction mixer, a compressor. I want to choose this myself. I only want the actual instrument. And it even created two buses with two different reverbs and I might have already set up my own reverbs here. So what do you do then? Well, I used to go in here and then delete these created buses and be super annoyed, but finally getting to the core instrument. But you do not have to do that. Let's undo this and I will show you a better way. So let's say you want to load that same patch, but I only want the instrument itself. Look down here. They have hidden this feature really well, but I found it. This little wheel here, click on enable patch merging. And these are the things that will be loaded when I uh, use one of the presets in the library. So I don't want any sense, no insert effects, no MIDI effects. I only want the instrument itself. Now, if I go to the same patch and load it up, look what happens. Only the instrument. Then I can add effects as I wish to, not the way Logic thinks I will use them. Now, the only drawback from this, as I have found out, is if I go close this library and then open it up on another track and load another instrument, like this one, it still loads that up. I have found no way of making this like a default setting, even though if I go to this uh, enable patch merging, it's still the instruments selected. For some reason, I need to have this open. So if you create a new track, you need to go down here, enable patch merging before you even add an instrument. And now if I do that, load up this violins again, I get only the instrument. So that's the way you, you do it. I hope Apple will update this. Or if there is a way to make this the default setting in the background, please let me know in the comments. Now my bonus tip for you is to make sure that your library here in Logic is up to date and that you have all instruments installed. So you go up here to the main menu, sound library, and then you can check if these are grayed out and you can also open up the sound library manager and look here, is everything installed? It seems to be. Then you will be able to access all of the instrument patches in the stock library. Check out my complete video series on Logic Pro X tutorials and tips here on my channel. Learn and master Logic Pro X to boost your music composition and production workflow.